Hi, bienvenidos. Today I'm drinking Monster Tour water, the sparkling edition. Cheers. Clink. I love you. You're such a baby. You just wants to be included. Yeah, you just want to be included. So today we are doing a Hot Topic themed video. I love Hot Topic and I very vividly remember the first time I went with my friend Alicia, her mom took us. It was in middle school and I picked out a Doctor Who shirt. I was kind of a nerd. Back then we called it geek. That was the term geek. And I feel like there's not a lot of YouTube videos that are Hot Topic calls that are more seen emo. I feel like a lot of it is like Disney and stuff like that. So I thought I would do one today. Hot Topic has brought back a lot of emo and scene stuff. Like I went today to get some more vlog footage and they had a couple more stuff that I'm like, wow, they're really doing it. Like they're doing the, they're bringing it back. So then at the end of this video, it's kind of like the vlog footage that I've obtained over a couple visits. I noticed on the Hot Topic website right now, pretty much everything is sold out. It's pretty crazy. So most of the studded belts are no longer sold on the website and in person it was very limited sizes. So I was really sad because I wanted a red and black studded belt. So I'm hoping they bring it back. Oh, I also went to Zoomies. So I got one or two things and I thought I would show you guys. And I did not buy all of this at once. I normally buy like one, maybe two things every so often so this is over the span of many months and some of it is unopened other ones i couldn't wait but i did like write down a list to keep track of everything i was buying that way i could collectively show you everything the first thing i got a while back is something i'm wearing and it's this black matte studded belt I got the silver one first and sometimes the silver is just a little too bright like with this outfit I'm not really feeling the silver. This one I've been wearing a lot. The only thing is if you do order a studded belt from Hot Topic I recommend sizing up because they run pretty small so I ordered a small originally and then it came and it did not fit at all. So right now I'm wearing a medium but if you want the hanging look i recommend sizing up twice maybe even three times because this one's a medium and it fits me just perfect so i'm not able to do the hanging seam kind of look which is what i wanted to do originally but i know a lot of you guys are not in the u.s so i wanted to show you some of the stuff you get they give you coupons pretty regularly so this is like a 25 percent off and then they don't always have this but i guess this was because of christmas they had this little booklet that says Holiday Hits, Hot Topic. So it has some, you know. I like the magazine, like, cutout letters. I think that's really fun. More coupons. I think my favorite thing here Probably the band tees. Can't go wrong. The classic Pierce the Veil shirt, Lana, Deftones. I don't know who Sleep Token is, but I'm sure they're great. Oh, Olivia Rodrigo. They sell Olivia Rodrigo merch now. It's pretty interesting. Pretty crazy how fast she blew up. Started in Hot Topic. She was probably so proud too. I just know because Olivia's one of us and um, if Hot Topic approached for me that they wanted to put my merch in their store, I would be honored. The next thing I got is kind of more of like a scene thing. It's this Jake hat. Oh my gosh, he's so happy. I have not worn this one out. It's so fun. It's supposed to get really cold next week though, so maybe I'll wear this one out. <laughs> and here's the little Adventure Time tag. Um, one thing that Hot Topic has been going crazy with lately that I'm super stoked about is the bracelets. Like, they're going hard. Last time I went, they had a lot of bracelets, and this time I went, they had even more bracelets. Like, more variety, different kinds. It was so cool as a bracelet lover, like, 
so happy. And I picked up quite a few. I picked up this bracelet set. It is Nirvana and I thought it was so cool because it's black and white. So it matches the vibe, you know? Because I like the yellow on black, but I think the white on black matches a lot more things. I specifically like this top one because I love a good rope cord piece of jewelry and then I also like the ball chain at the bottom. I have not opened this one. I've been saving it to show you guys. I was watching some videos where they were talking about kids Christmas list for 2023 and it was just so bizarre to me because it was things like skims, drunk elephant, Stanley cups for like kids under 10. And the one that really got me was some girl wrote, I think it said like Nirvana brand clothes or something like that. And I thought it was so funny because I don't think they're aware that it's a band. And it reminded me a lot in 2014, 2015 around there, um, the Guns N' Roses t-shirt was really big and it was almost like overdone. Like I'm a huge Guns N' Roses fan, but even I don't think I could wear that shirt out right now just cause it was so overdone. And nobody even listened to guns either. <laughs> Which is fine, I'm not gatekeeping. I'm not saying like, oh, don't wear a band shirt if you don't know the band. But I just thought it was funny that Nirvana shirts are the new Guns N' Roses shirts. In a couple years, I'm sure it'll be some other 90s band that kids don't listen to. <laughs> um, yeah. The next bracelet I did take out of the packaging and I have already worn it many times. I mentioned in one of the videos that I don't think I could ever wear a spike cuff and um, here we are. I guess at first I was really intimidated by them, but now I really like the spike cuff. I, I was so excited to go to the store and get it. It's pretty pointy. I could understand why these are not allowed at concerts. I am going to do like a bracelet collection video sometime. One of my favorite small business brands, Heaven Sent and Co, is gonna drop some cuffs. She's already shown them several times and they are so cute, like so cute. So I'm waiting till that comes out and I have those and then I will do the full collection. I think that would be really fun because I wear bracelets every day. They are so fun. I have so many different types. I guess you're getting a sneak preview of a couple of my newer additions in this video. So then from one of Hot Topic's sister brands, I got this Fin Hat. I got the Fin Hat before I got the J-Cat and this is so cute. I love that it's white and goes with everything. I have worn this one a couple times. Fix my bangs, but yeah, I really like this one. Like it just goes with everything. I don't know if I mentioned, I got it at Box Lunch. I don't know if I said that, but Box Lunch is more like the, so Hot Topic I would say is the emo brother and Box Lunch is like the hipster sibling, maybe? Is that an accurate comparison? Hipster, indie kind of sibling. <laughs> I really like the little patch. The next thing I got is not from current Hot Topic. I got it on Mercari, but they are brand new and they still have the Hot Topic packaging, and that is these jelly bracelets. Do you guys remember these? When I was a kid, I didn't know what scene was. And I think back then, I don't know if people really called it scene. You know, the internet wasn't really as big as it is today. I just remember seeing girls that now I could identify as being seen. And they always had their bracelets like this. And I wanted to do that so bad. And I didn't know where to get them as I was a kid, but I wanted to be like them so bad. And so I had these little flower, little girl bracelets. And I did this because I wanted to be cool like them. I'm gonna insert the picture, even though it's super embarrassing. And I'm probably gonna insert it in my bracelet video as well. But I found this photo in my mom's digital camera and I just thought it was so funny. There's the proof right there. I have a couple pictures of me dressing as what I would now identify as scene, but I, at the time I didn't, yeah, rare treat for you, <laughs> scene Kaylee. I wasn't into Avril Lavigne back in the day, but now I really love Avril Lavigne. I would say she's one of my style inspirations. She used to wear these a lot. She'd wear them like this, and then she would also wear them just stacked. 
So she would have like maybe a couple like this and then the other ones are stacked. So cute. As a short skater girl, she is everything I aspire to be in life. <laughs> so cool. The next thing I have is another bracelet. I know I'm crazy. Is everything bracelets? <laughs> I got this fin bracelet. Isn't this amazing? This is from another Hot Topic sister store. Like I think it's one main brand and then they have several sister stores. And this one's from FYE, which is for your entertainment. And I believe it's only available online. It was like $5. And they also have a Jake one. These rubber bracelets are so nostalgic and I didn't really have any back in the day. So it's really cool to be able to live out everything as an adult, you know, like healing your inner child. So next we can move on to Zoomies before I show you what I got today at Hot Topic. This is a little bag they gave me. And I don't know if they have Zoomies overseas. Let me know. Um, if they don't, Zoomies is, I think is also a sister brand Hot Topic because when I look at the tags, they look very similar. So I'm gonna make the assumption that Zoomies is the skater sibling. Flip through of what they sell at Zoomies. It's a lot of skater clothes, like Thrasher and Primitive, and they sell skateboards there. I should have, I hope I videotaped that, but if not, I'll enter a picture for those that have never been to Zoomies. One of my friends from school named Kirsty told me she had never been to Zoomies before, and I was like, what? I have gone there so many times. I got my first real skateboard from there. And every time I go to the mall, I like to just check out what parts they have, what wheels. Oh, today when I went, they had the Eric Winkowski wheels. If you didn't catch my last skate vlog, my skate with me video, I got Eric Winkowski bearings and trucks and they had the wheels and I was like, tempting, tempting. But I'm so loyal and I only like Spitfire wheels. Oh look, there they are. They have a lot of completes there. They also have tech decks, which is cool. I checked out their selection when I went today. There was just a really pretty girl working today and I fumbled the bag, guys. <laughs> I don't have many friends where I live. Oh, look, the DC shoes. And she was doodling at the counter, like behind the counter. She had dyed black choppy hair and then she was wearing like a cute little off the shoulder black top with super baggy jeans and I'm also wearing super baggy jeans and like she had like a similar vibe which is kind of rare for me to come across especially here in this little town but I couldn't bring myself to really say anything to her. I was just really intimidated. She was really pretty. So anyways Lots of beanies. So just like anything you could think of, skater. Baggy pants, skater tees, beanies, belts, skateboards, snowboarding goggles apparently. Sometimes they have free stickers. I haven't asked in a while, but I like when they have free stickers. So I only bought one thing from Zoomies, but it's so iconic. So I had to show you. Do you remember these? Like, when I saw this, I was like, you're joking. Like, that's how I know this has to be a Hot Topic sister brand because they're paying attention. They know the scene kids are, are coming back. What is it, like the Roaring Twenties? I have the packaging right here because it's really cute. I'm not gonna stretch it back on, but this is the packaging. And it was only $5, which I think is pretty good for a bracelet like this. Oh, look at the font. You see, that's why I think they're the same brand. Like it's black caps, very similar. Yeah, I'm gonna say they're the same brand. When I went to check out, the cashier told me that these were buy one, get one free from this little bin. So out of the free bin, I picked out this one, which is also a keep a breast sticker. And this one says, fight the good fight. And it has a little star. The bottom it says our education prevention and action and then at the counter they had this which is also by keep abreast and this was free and i think this is really important it tells you how to check yourself for breast cancer so i'll kind of show you you can pause if you want to read how to check yourself so i just have this in my um zoomies catalog 
Okay, last but not least, we have what I got today. I feel like the topic workers already know me. Like every time I go in there, I try and record video for you guys. They probably think I'm a TikToker or something, but I'm just like, I probably look so cringe, but at the same time we're in 2024. So it's kind of normal. I saw this necklace online and I've been going back and forth about it for like weeks now. And it's Marceline's axe as a necklace. And then on this little nameplate, it says, Just Your Problem, which is that song she sings to Bubblegum. But I ended up getting it, and I think I'm just going to put it on a different chain. The very last thing in the whole haul is another bracelet. Are we surprised? <laughs> this one's new. I have not seen this. That's an avid Hot Topic website stalker. Um, it's a Bring Me the Horizon bracelet in black and white epic i've talked about it a couple times on the channel but bring me the horizon was my gateway into alternative music so they have a very special place in my heart little emo 14 year old kaylee would blast can you feel my heart in my room and i would cry and scream when i was home alone so that's so embarrassing to say on the internet, but very special place in my heart for Bring Me the Horizon. And I'm very excited that they're bringing back all these rubber bracelets. Like that is so fun. Where's my Finn one? I love, so much fun. I didn't get any band tees or anything just because I don't really like too much of the modern band tees they have. The quality and fit is just not the same as the older shirts, so I prefer ordering those secondhand on Mercari and Depop. I forgot to show, for the spiky cuff, this is the packaging it came with. It looks like the old Hot Topic logo. I thought that was really cool. I was debating whether or not to do a voiceover for this part, but... I don't feel like typing out all the text, so. <laughs> I thought these were really interesting. Very like gothic Lolita mixed with modern e-girl. They have a lot of really interesting clothes. Like Hot Topic is just full of interesting things. I really liked this. Oh. They had a lot of cool hats. This was all before Christmas. Like the store and the online site was fully stocked full of tons of crazy fun stuff. And when I went today, it was really empty compared to this. So that's pretty crazy. Like all these palettes were gone. There was no new moon palettes and especially with the new color pop palette that came out. I was kind of interested in getting this palette now, like for a collection to have with the other palettes, but I don't know. The colors are kind of weird, the names are kind of weird. Oh look, all the belts are crazy. Like I said, most of these were gone and the sizes were very limited now, but... These were really cool. These were all on clearance, this little section. I'm kind of wishing I would have picked some of them up, but I mean, I don't need a billion belts. <laughs> um, oh, pant chains. I wore some of these when I was in high school and I had just gotten into skateboarding. I love emo moms. So funny. I've been debating getting this shirt, like going back and forth about it for a while now. I feel like this is one of the classic Pierce Savelle shirts. It's been around forever at this point. Hot Topic, they have a lot of buttons. Like I 
remember growing up and being so excited to come and even if I didn't have money for a whole bunch of shirts I could look through the buttons and add some to my lanyard or a little hat or whatever they don't really have a lot that I'm into nowadays but every now and then I'll see a cute like twilight one or an anime one I like these are so cute me and who like somebody please let's get these and match because what the heck so cute this is footage from H&M, not Hot Topic, but they had these Ushankas and I really like this one. If I didn't already have one, I totally would have gotten this one because it's gray and I like the fur color. This was inside of Spencer's, which is another Hot Topic sister store. This is like the adult sibling, <laughs> the adult sibling that still can't really let go of um, their childhood pop culture, <laughs> me. And these are really cool. This is inside of Hot Topic again. Me checking out the spike bracelets again. The other- <laughs> Oh, I guess this is the day I finally decided to get it. These My Melody Legos. So cute. I love Legos. The only thing is that after you build it, like, you have to have somewhere to put it. And I just don't have shelf space to put any more Lego figures. This year, I really like that they're making bunny senpai shirts i just don't really like this one in particular i did try it on though i love the wolf t-shirt designs so iconic This belt is a size small, and I'm normally a size small, like, in clothes, but it did not fit. It did not wrap around my waist, lol. Some more cool bracelets. Do you guys see, like, insane the amount of jewelry they have nowadays? I hope you enjoyed the little vlog portion. Thanks for watching, bro fist.